But let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it on camera then. As well, Crook Check, your one and only Move Swiftly speaker, checking in for a daily Move Swiftly thought, giving your perspective on teamwork that you will not get anywhere else. Recording this, February 4th, 2024, the morning after. Witness greatness, man. Just witness the effects and the results and the residue of greatness. The residue. I said, I know residue is normally used as a term that's something negative but it actually doesn't actually mean that it's just what's left of something all right greatness the residue of some greatness i might have to actually coin that one i don't know if i've ever heard anyone say that and i listen to a lot of self-development talk and I, I think i think i can actually claim that one the residue of greatness all right this is the morning after i watched another duke north carolina rivalry a rivalry a game in which the tar heels came out on top that boy i'm telling you armando Baycott. With my other man, I can't remember his name, but they was doing some things. They were doing some major things. It looks like UNC might make another run this year. And, you know, it's got to support the brother, you know, Coach Hubert yeah, and all that. But I, I got to tell you, I respect Coach K to the utmost. I respect Coach I've read at least, I've read about three of, I read, at least, I know for a fact I read two, two of his books, two of his books. One is titled Leading with the Heart. And the other one, which I'm going to talk about in a second, it's called Gold Standard where he talked about how he created and built that uh, redeem team. They call them the redeem team, the U.S. Olympic basketball team in which they came back, got that gold medal, did their thing. He did an entire book about that, just that experience in general. I'm gonna get, I'm going to get into it in a second. I just got to finish out the finish out the intro. All right. After the UNC Duke game, I got a chance to see the, the GOAT, in my opinion, the GOAT, Mr. LeBron James, year 21, Still just making shit happen. Still ending winning streak. Still, still, still 21 years of doing damage for the Lakers as he and the Lakers finished out or ended the New York Knicks. I believe it was like a 10 game winning streak and they were losing a lot. So, you know, he ended that and did his thing. And it got me thinking about the relationship that both Coach K and LeBron has. And he documented it so well in the book, The Gold Standard. And it's something, the main thing that we got to take away from this, if you want to, if you have aspirations of building that kind of organization, building that positive, that kind of positive residue, those positive effects, those things that you're going to be, you know, you're going to be seeing your work, the work you put in today, you want to see in your work be beneficial and be still dominant, still relevant in the future. Understand what I'm getting ready to tell you. All right. He, Coach K told this story in his book, The Gold Standard, in which I guess it was an away game. They were on their way to play some team in one of those gyms out there. You know, this I believe I can't remember where this specific Olympics were, but it was they were just right on the bus on their way to a game. No, 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 no. It wasn't on the way to a game. This is what made the story so great. It wasn't on their way to a game. I think it was actually on the plane somewhere in which they weren't even on their way to a game. The guys were just kind of relaxed and chilling or whatever. And Coach K kind of took, you know, that's, that's the, the great thing about a great writer and reading books is if you concentrate, it takes you in that specific area the, where the author is trying to take you. So the Coach K <clears throat> took us readers into a situation in which we felt like we were on the plane with them, felt like it was a very lax environment. The guys were just doing things to kill time and all that kind of stuff, right? So as Coach K puts it in his book, he says, I was, I saw them playing cards and LeBron was there playing cards with the other guys, you know, killing time or whatever, just trying to find something to do as we were on our way to the next event or whatever it was. And he says, look, I noticed, I noticed, key word in this, I noticed that LeBron started getting really competitive. <laughs> I noticed that just in this game of cards in which the guys were just doing to kill time and have fun, he's starting to you know, get a little loud, taking the game a little more seriously, and he wanted to win. He wanted to make sure he won whatever games they were playing with, blackjack, spades, whatever the, the card game was, and he made sure he noted that, he mentally noted that, and he put it in a book so folks like myself, folks like the people that keep up with my work, anyone that really dives and uses the lessons and uses the game, whether whatever sport it is using the game of sports to teach life lessons so we understand the power of noticing the effort and i encourage every last one of you guys to do the same thing because as i just mentioned at the beginning of the video you got duke basketball without 
without Coach K, which is still relevant, and you got LeBron James in year 21 still dominating games, still doing what he got to do. Again, I'm a, I'm a believer that he's the GOAT. I understand the Jordan folks when they bring up the flopping and all the games that you know he misses for load management and all that. I get all that, but at the end of the day, in my opinion, he still is the GOAT, all right? So understand that. Understand the main thing, the main extraction from today's video is noticing effort, noticing effort. When you notice effort, these are the kinds of things that stick to you and you're able to apply them in every single walk of life, every single phase, every single day, every single thing that you do when you are blessed to get another 24 hours, apply those effort, those effort plays, the effort plays and the effort things, the things in which you're given maximum effort. Those are gonna be the things that pull you through pull you through to the next phase of life, all right? Main website to check out to dive deeper into all my work, makeyoungmove.com. That's M-A-K-E-Y-A-M-O-V-E.com. One-stop shop for your teamwork and your self-development needs as one Crookshank, your one and only Move Swiftly speaker. Checking out. You guys continue to move swiftly. We will talk more soon.